Hello everyone, it's Tindash and this is Timmy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very festive look and this is the look that I created on Dina. And as you can see, it's a very cranberry inspired metallic burgundy eye. I really, really love this look. It quickly became one of my favorites that I've ever done. So as always, I'm not gonna ramble on too much. If you wanna know how I created this look, then please keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because a lot of you aren't subscribed to my channel. About 80% of my viewers aren't, which is crazy. So we should change that and Timmy would be very happy. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and what you'd want to see next. Bye. All right, so here we have the beautiful Dina who is so stunning and I really loved creating this look on her. I feel like it really accentuated all her best features and the color looks so flattering on her. Now I'm gonna be starting off with skincare as usual. This is the La Mer The Mist and I'm gonna be spraying that all over her face and it's gonna prep the skin for skincare. Next, I'm gonna be using the La Mer The Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. And I'm gonna be rubbing that all over the skin and massaging it in and making sure that product really sinks into the skin. And I know these products are expensive, so obviously use whatever works for your skin, use your current skincare routine. This is me just prepping the model's skin. <laughs> but obviously the ritual is always the same. I really want to massage that in, get the blood flow going and making the model feel very relaxed. For under eye cream, I'm gonna be using the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. This is actually one of my favorite eye creams for makeup and it just really sinks into the skin. You don't feel it, you don't feel a heavy layer on. And makeup just works beautifully on top of this. And I'm gonna be using the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. And by the way, these products, uh, the minis are from the MAC Advent Calendar, the big star. So that's from the holiday collection. And a lot of this is from the holiday collection because such a beautiful collection, I really wanted to play around with it. And then taking some MAC lip conditioner and putting that all over the lips and letting that sink in. I'm gonna be starting off with the eyes because I'm using an eyeshadow that I haven't used before and I don't know if the fallout is crazy. So this is the MAC Paint Pot in Quite Natural. I love this paint pot. It's just a really nice neutral brown and I love using this as a base if I'm doing a blown out smoky eye. And I'm gonna be blending that and patting it into the lid. I'm not worried if the application isn't neat at this point. I just want to lay down that base and blend the edges as best as I can because the eyeshadow is going to do the rest of the work for me. For eyeshadows, I'm taking the MAC Pony Park collection and just dipping into the medium neutral shade, the brown one. <laughs> and I'm going to be blending and diffusing the edges of that base. So basically, this is going to be like a transition color. And I want to really wing that out almost past the brows. And this eyeshadow is from the MAC Starring You Advent Calendar, and it is the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in Havana. And I'm going to be using that to set the lids almost, but kind of the outer corners. I'm not really going in the inner corners with this. And this is a very neutral, almost cool, uh, metallic chocolate brown. So at this point, I'm just building up the colors and seeing where the look is going to go. Dipping into my favorite MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 eyeshadow palette, and I'm taking the cream shade and blending the edges even more. So I'm going back and forth with that blending and making sure we're working on that very blown out look. And from the Pony palette, I'm taking the chocolate brown and working it on the outer corner, sort of building up a wing, just to deepen that edge and map out my shape. Again, nothing too, too neat. And then I'm gonna be dipping into that cranberry maroon shade and I'm gonna be tapping it on the outer corner and that's building up the base color again. Because I decided I wanted this look to be more cranberry based, more maroon, but we're gonna add shimmer on top of that. This is kind of working as a color in the background. And with blown out smoky eyes, it's all about layering those colors so you get that very nice, beautiful blend that really smokes out. And now I'm gonna be dipping into that mustard shade in the palette and blending the edges even more. And I feel like that really warms up and brings out the cranberry maroon tones even more. I really loved adding the step. For the next shadow, this is the star of the look. This is the Spellbinder shadow in Stairs to the Stars. And this is the formula that I haven't used yet. That's why I did the eyes first because I don't know if it was gonna fall down because it is a magnetic pressed eyeshadow. It's very, very interesting. And I'm gonna be going in with my finger first to see how that shadow works and tapping that on the lid and building it up slowly, going all the way to the inner corner as well. 
So this way I kind of get to feel how the product works and what I want to add to it. Next, I'm going to be going in with the brush and seeing how it applies with the brush. And of course, getting more closer to the lash line, which I couldn't really do with my fingers. And on the edges as well. Next, I'm going to be taking the PowerPoint eye pencil in engraved, and I'm going to be creating a very thin wing, focusing it more on the outer corners of the eye. Just to create more of that lift. And going all the way in, but very, very thin. And of course, repeating the same steps on the other eye. I'm going to go into foundation now, and I'm going to be using the MAC Face and Body Foundation in C3. Now, this is a very light foundation because Dina doesn't need any coverage. So I just want to add more warmth to the skin. So I'm focusing on creating more of those peachy tones and bronze tones all over. And this is just going to add color to the skin and unifying everything without adding coverage. And taking it down the neck, of course. This is definitely my favorite MAC foundation. For contouring and warmth, I'm taking the MAC Studio Fix Foundation Stick in NC55. And I'm going to be rubbing that on the back of my hand, taking it on my foundation brush again, and putting it on the cheekbones, jawline, temples. This is basically where I'm kind of adding more color and warmth to the skin. And again, Dina has amazing bone structure, so I'm not really contouring. I'm more just adding color and bronzing. For concealer, I'm going to be taking the MAC Studio Fix 24-Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in NC35. And this is where more of the concentrated coverage and highlighting comes in. So anywhere where she's a bit uneven around the mouth, uh, a bit on the jaw, that's where I'm going in. And blending that bronzer in as well. And I'm going to be going in underneath the eyes as well and tapping that in and blending it and buffing it out because I really want to create that bright, lifted look. It's not really about concealing, it's more about adding brightness. And it helps to clean out that eyeshadow shape underneath as well. For blush, I'm taking the cream color base in Improper Copper. And I'm going to be stippling that on with my foundation brush again and tapping it into the cheeks. Now this adds such a beautiful sheen to the face. It looks very healthy, very lit from within, and it adds that hint of peach that I love and I want for this look. And I'm going to be tapping a bit on the nose, the chin, and the forehead with whatever is left on the brush. I'm going to be brushing her brows up and just dipping into that MAC Semi Sweet palette again. And going in with the ashier shades, I'm not going to do anything too crazy with the brows. Dina has really good brows, so I'm just brushing them up and filling in any sparse areas very, very lightly. And even lighter when I get to the front of the brows. And then I'm going to be setting everything with the MAC Clear Brow Gel. Just pushing the brows up and brushing them down to make them a bit more neat. And I love how Dina's brows turned out. They really just framed the eye look perfectly. Dipping back into that maroon shade, I'm going to be going over the black liner because I don't want it to be so harsh. And I'm going to be taking it underneath the lower lash line as well. And buffing it out. And blending those edges again with the mustard color, which I love and it really did add a lot to this look in a very subtle way. For mascara, I'm taking the MAC in Extreme Dimension to start off with and just coating the lashes. And I'm going to be going in with the smaller Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. And going on the top and bottom lashes. Then I'm going to be going back into that Spellbinder shadow, but this time I'm spraying a bit of Fix Plus on it because I want to use it wet. So I want to intensify the look. I wasn't as happy with it dry. So I decided to use it wet, and I'm so glad I did this because it just completely amplified the shadow and just made this look a hundred times better. And now you can see the flecks of color, you can see the shimmer, and it looks even ten times more beautiful when you photograph this. When the flash hits it, it really just is more bright and alive. And I'm taking that on the lower lashes as well, so I want the shimmer to kind of run throughout the eye. I'm gonna be contouring the nose a bit, and these are Pro Contour Powders. I'm sorry I don't have the names, but one of them is Harmony. So just contouring the nose a bit, nothing crazy. And for a bronzy highlight, I'm taking the MAC Starring You Opalescent Powder and Rising Star. 
And I'm gonna be using that as both blush, highlight, and bronzer all in one. So going over all the areas where I've placed the MAC cream color base, and just really pushing it into the skin and tapping it in. This gives the skin such a beautiful sheen. And to kind of highlight and add a bit of color and to complement the eye look, I'm gonna be taking the MAC Starring You Opalescent Powder in Shooting Star and placing that more high up into the cheekbones as if I'm adding blush. But again, this does give you that nice, beautiful sheen. And it's not as crazy as it looks in the pan. It's actually very, very flattering. I'm gonna be prepping the lips with the MAC Prep and Prime lip. And bear with me, but I'm gonna be using three lip liners because I was kind of testing out the lip. And the first one is Subculture. Because that was too pink for my liking, I'm gonna be adding a bit of stone lip liner and that kind of adds a bit more of that cool tone, a bit more dimension. But again, it was still a bit too cool toned. I'm using a bit of the MAC Honey Love lipstick, just tapped into the lips. And then blending the edges in. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the MAC Spice lip pencil and tying that look together. I mean, honestly, you could have used Spice from the beginning. <laughs> I was so excited to use these lipsticks the second I saw them. This is the MAC Kiss of Stars lipstick in Gold Star, and it is a beautiful champagne color, but it acts kind of like a gloss when you put it on. It's a shimmer, it's a metallic, but it's a very, very flattering one. So if you put it on the cupid's bow and the center of the lip, it just adds that volume and that dimension to the lip. I'm taking a bit of the excess off on the back of my hand because there was lipstick buildup, and going back in to really emphasize that shine. I'm gonna be adding a more intense highlight just down the center of the nose and the chin. And I'm gonna be going in with a very thin layer of translucent powder. This is the MAC Patrick Star Powder. And with a fluffy brush, I'm just tapping it on the T-zone underneath the eyes, just any areas where I wanna set and leaving the outside perimeter of the face kind of powder free because we've added all that nice glow. So just set your face strategically. I'm just going to be going back in and touching up with that bronzy highlight. For the final touch, I'm taking the lip glass in Young Star and tapping that over the areas where I've highlighted with that lipstick, just to add even more dimension. And that is the final look on Dina. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely one of my favorites to do this year. It's just a very festive look, but it's not your typical festive look. <laughs> So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.